Hey, I've just finished work, and now we're going to head off to the Peak District for the weekend. Right, we're all ready to go, we're all packed up. Kiddo's in the car. That's wrong. Lots of traffic on the route. There's always traffic every time we go anywhere. I think we've hit rush out now. I'm going to carry on filming in case this lorry hits us. I have evidence. <laughs> really close then. <laughs> We are here! So this is the living room. Nice big sofa to sit on. Nice log burner. And this is the kitchen. And outside there's a uh, there's a patio, but it's like really high up. I'll have to film that tomorrow because it's completely pitch black out there. Do you like the new cottage? Do you want to live here? Okay, bye. This is the best bedroom. I'm not sure who's going to get it yet. I'm not sure it's very practical for us because I think I have a toddler. I think these stairs. Probably not great to take door. But it's a very nice room. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, a tickle belly. <laughs> it's now the next morning, and my brother and his wife have arrived. <laughs> yeah, they're on the screen, aren't they, Luna? Can you see them? <laughs> And yeah, they were lazy, they didn't get here till really late. And, uh, <laughs> lazy. and we're gonna head out now. We're gonna go for a walk, but we don't really know where we're gonna go, do we? We're just gonna head out and see where the nice weather takes us. Really, and Luna, you're looking forward to seeing some ducks, aren't you? Well, we found a pretty cool walk. We had to go through the grounds of a hotel, and, uh, and it didn't really look like it was a public right away, but we thought we'd just go anyway. <laughs> and now we're by a big factory. Do they smell of piss? No. Oh, that, that makes a change. <laughs> Different to every other cave I've ever looked at then. <laughs> oh, 
back at this cave out. There's just something cool about caves. That helps, we'll go and check them out. If you were brave enough, you could climb up. I reckon it'd be pretty cool actually. I'll say that I'm not going to do it because I've got a kid in my back. It's nothing to do with the fact I'm not brave enough. Well, we decided we would stop for a pint. Because we thought it would be nice and relax him. Has it been relaxing? No. It's pretty much the worst pub I've ever been. I've been to a lot of pubs. And this is the worst one. Right, so the reason that we don't like this place, why we think it's not great, is we were walking around and we thought we'll stop, we'll go to a pub, we'll get a drink, we'll get a bowl of chips. And uh, we came to another pub at the road and it was just, there was just no room inside. Um, so we, just, we didn't want to wait and have to try and find a table. So we come to this one, sells food, sells beer, great. And when we get in, there's a big sign saying that they've got no food on, they're refurbishing it, the kitchens are closed. And we thought, well, that's all right, we'll just go. There's a chip shop next door. We're going to get some chips, we'll have a pint, and it'll be fine. And the, the, the woman warned us immediately as soon as we got in. She was no, horrible. No, she, she was... warned us after we ordered our pint. Oh, yeah, warned us after we had ordered our drinks as well. Because you can't have any, can't have any food. And she was, it wasn't just the fact that we can't have food, it was how aggressive she was. Because a two year old was eating Yeah, because it was. Because our one and a half year old had been sitting outside eating a sausage roll and she got really, How dare really she? bad. She was really nasty about it, wasn't she? How dare your infant eat a sausage roll? Oh. Terrible. Terrible. Well, the worst thing is, there's a window. There's a window behind me. <laughs> and she's staring out the window to make sure that we're not having a sausage I've roll. Been sat here. The whole time I've been sat here, she's been glaring at me out the window. It's not, been, it's not been relaxing. I wanted a sausage roll, so I walked out onto the street and just I was just staring in that, staring through the window, eating a sausage roll. Look, try them out. Try them out. Yeah, worth. It's gonna be one of the worst ones I've ever been to. Nah, don't go in. Well, we have found some chips. This place is letting us eat chips, aren't they? They're very good. It's a chip restaurant, so they should. <laughs> You should go and get a beer from there, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be a better idea, wouldn't it? These guys went running off ahead. Look what they missed. She's going in. You go ahead because you're filming. I'm too scared to go in. I'm not going in. So cool. I'm going to have to take Luna off my back, ain't I? So what, what, seriously, there's a candle there's lit. There's a candle on in there. Give me a camera, I'll go to the It goes quite deep and there's a candle on in there. Do you not think someone's just put it on to make it more welcoming? And I'm kind of too scared to go any further. Should we go? Oh, we got, I've got to go and check it. I'm coming in, I'm going to take the kid I'm off. I'm going to wait here with you. You get ready to run with her if there's any psychopaths about. Right, so. These guys have just been in. They started going inside and there was a candle at the end. And only a tea light, so like, you have a tea light, they're not lit very long, so there's probably someone in there. Should we go and check it out? Oh my god, let's go and check it out. Hello? Yeah, let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Come on, let's not be scared. Be brave. This guy's like ridiculously deep. Yeah, it's a little bit It's like a little scene of this. Is that? Like a little love. Okay, if someone yeah, is dead. The room me is kind of saying go. <laughs> but at the same time, if someone is living in here, I feel bad to come in here and interrupt their home. Yeah, so let's just leave it there. Like if it was, you know, imagine if it was your house. So people, I mean, it's a cool place to explore, but we've got to be respectful. Yeah. Don't go ahead and tell us what's going on. We're not going any further. Nah. Okay. You don't want to go? I want to go. Well, <laughs> then you can go. You can be brave. Oh my god, look at the size of that spider. Mm -hmm. Can't believe how deep this is. Yeah, it goes off into the bones. Yeah. Gosh, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Whew, that was a cool cave. We got in about, uh, we probably walked for a good few minutes and uh, the cave just meandered down and it went through um, all lots of different tunnels and it went off in different directions really cool but it was so creepy because it was just like candles that like, mark in the way and they were lit so I mean you know a tea light doesn't last that long so it must have been fairly recent which makes me think that someone is either using the cave for ritualistic purposes or they're living in it and we were really inclined to go ex proper exploring and go deeper and deeper into the cave. But if somebody is living in it, then it's quite disrespectful to just walk into their house. And I don't feel right doing that, really. So we decided to turn back. Such a cool find, though. To think we almost walked past it. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. We're back home at the cottage now, aren't we, Lena? Dinner is being prepared by the men of the house. We're making enormous chilli. Where is the saucepan? Uh, that cupboard there. Yeah. Babe, we need that. <laughs> Something. We learn our lesson because we go away to cottages quite a lot and they always have awful, awful blunt knives. So I've got a knife sharp. Look at this king one in the middle. That is a pretty hefty oven. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, so Don was left in charge of the peppers. Men cooking. And <laughs> they're not chopped. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. You don't want to do needless extra work. Can you explain? Just boil it, innit? <laughs> This was our lovely Airbnb. The garden is crazy steep. So that's it. That's our trip over and done with. Did you have a good time? Brilliant. It was a lovely little break. It was good, wasn't it? We've just had an amazing lunch in that bookshop over there. Yeah, it was really nice. Crumford's really nice, actually. And the, uh, the vegan cafe that's in the, in the bookshop was a, uh, I think 10 out of 10. I thought the food was delicious, yeah, wasn't amazing. it? Yeah, we had a really nice hummus pie. Yeah, really nice hummus Made pie. Made with vegan cheese as well. Yeah, it's been a really nice little trip away. So the only bad bit was that pub yesterday. So don't go there. Luke's recommendation, don't go to that pub. <laughs>